You know what? I cannot take this at all. After what has gone over the past few years that I was a part of the teenagers next door when I was evil, something has brought up to me as of right now. I am now detesting the teenagers next door permanently. There you are as able. I have been looking everywhere for you. Wait a second. What's wrong? Is there something wrong or something like that or anything? Look early, I never ever in my life wanted to spit this out, but this will shock you brutally. What? What is it Isabel? What's the most shocking thing that you are trying to say? I mean, you can tell me anything. It's not like I'll be mad or anything. I have been hearing the dark true colors of the three teenagers next door. Huh. Isabel, can you say it louder? I have been hearing the dark true colors of the three teenagers next door. No way. I don't believe it. I'm so shocked. You're joking. No. I am not joking. This is actually true, 1000%. I have been hearing the dark facts about Andrew, Orion and Ethan. And this time, I have no other choice but to cut ties with them forever. Oh my god. Really? What did they do that made you despise them? Well, to start off, remember we caused a lot of trouble for fun along with Andrew, Orion and Ethan? Well, they manipulated both of us just because we are trying our best to mind our own businesses and improve our behaviors for everything we both did. But they forced us to cause a lot of trouble to society just for fun, even though we were born evil. Oh my god. But that is not the point here early. You see, the point is Andrew is the richest and the smartest leader in the world who does not let others win in the first place. Another thing about Ethan is that he absolutely has no sense of purpose at all. And as for Orion... He always cries like Eric Hartman and always uses autism as an excuse by saying a signature line no fair, when throwing a tantrum every single time. And to make the matters worse, we actually cry like motor cars all the time even we get grounded or other times we are not in the good mood. Oh my goodness. Are you really kidding me? I cannot believe Orion, Ethan and Andrew have backstabbed and manipulated both of us for no damn reason. What else did they do to both of us and the whole society? And worst of all, the three of the teenagers next door are the main reason why they put both of us into this mess and that we were being with the teenagers next door this whole entire time. And they never want to leave both of us alone and always use both of us for heaven's sakes at all cost. Wow. Just wow. I'm honestly shocked about this mess. I can't believe they manipulated and betrayed both of us and the whole society for no reason. So, to be honest with you, my best option is to hate them forever, cut all ties with them permanently and stay away from those three sick vile teenagers next door who betrayed both of us for no reason forever. I know early. That is exactly why I am not friends with those damn bastards anymore. And they must get a lot of serious karma and more worn style punishments for the rest of their lives. We both need to grab the adults next door and other gang members such as the Dish Girls, the Midnight Meeves, the Molly Gang and the Cheer Girls to have a serious talk with these three vile Mary Sue bastard. You are right Isabel. These three sickest delinquent vile Mary Sue bastards will wish that they will never got away for all of this to begin with. Let's bring all of them and one person will find those three sick bastards and bring them here to us.